All right, here we go. Major League Fishing Pro Circuit, Smith Lake, Alabama. All right, Smith Lake, Alabama. Been here a couple times. I was back in like 2010, fished here, Major League Fishing, 2019. Little bit of history. Looking forward to it because you're hearing how incredible the lake is now, catching all these big spots. They got the blueback herrings in here and these spotted bass are just getting really big. So I was all excited to get in here. I was like, oh my gosh, man, we're gonna go through a swim bait all day and try and catch five big ones. It's cold, it's like 30 something degrees this morning. We're gonna run way up some rivers today, look for some, maybe some stained water. A little bit dirtier water warms faster than the clear water. So that's kind of where I'm, I'm thinking right now. But now it's a matter of figuring out where do we want to go? Cause this is a pretty big old lake here. I launch way up the river and I have a fuse go out. So I had to ride, drive all the way back by truck to, to the service yard. Cause I didn't have fuse. I didn't know it was a fuse at the time. So get my boat fixed. So I wound up having a launch close to takeoff. Completely changed my game plan. And it was a grind. I think I had maybe four or five keeper bites. I caught three nice ones, you know, two and a half to three pound fish, uh, flipping a jig. Large mouth in a debris pocket. It's a big one, but it was a bite. You know, two of them were maybe in like 10, 12 foot of water, just down steep stuff, just flipping a jig to it. And I was like, all right, well, they're good bites. And the third bite I had was behind a dock, still same jig. Okay, maybe I'm on a jig bite. But I never had any more jig bites after that. I was like, oh my gosh. So it's like day one did not go according to plan. Not what I wanted. I tried making a reaction bite happen. I couldn't force it to feed them. Uh, I wasn't catching little ones. A few bites I had were good ones. Well, if what I saw down there was all bass from around here, there's a bunch like that down there. So day two of practice, I'm gonna go back to what I was gonna do on day one. So I went, I ran way up the river, going to try and find some, maybe some dirtier water that would be warmer. I fished for hours in a creek, you know, starting out deep, then worked all the way back in the very back pocket. Never had a bite, I'm like, oh my gosh. And, but I did notice that when I peeled off the main river, went into that creek, that the main river was dirty, the creek was clear. So I said, well, let me go back out to the main river and hit that dirty water. I roll up to a point, throw in a bladed jig or a crankbait one or two, and I caught one. You know, it was 14 inches, but I'm like, hey, I got a bite. Finally, I have a reaction bait. Well, let me run a couple more points. We ended another point, had a nice, like, two, two and a half pounder, chased my bait up to the boat. I'm like, oh, let's, let's start moving around a little bit more. So I just ran in the very back of a pocket, run a bladed jig, buy a little buck brush, catch a keeper. All right. And I go to the next pocket, catch a keeper. I'm like, well, let me try this little point right here, secondary point. Roll up, catch one. Next point, catch one, go to another pocket, catch one. I'm like, oh, okay. So I ended the day with seven, I think I had seven keeper bites. I had caught one three pound largemouth, two spots, you know, they were two pounds and the rest are just 15 inch pound and a half keepers. But that was it. So, I mean, it, I felt like, all right, I got an area that I can fish, know whether I'm gonna catch eight pounds or 12 pounds. But the fact is, I still need to be catching more than that. I had more keeper bites today. Maybe seven, but I'm not sure. I've got a long ways to go to get up here if I want to catch them. Sun's going down. It's time to go in. That's a wrap for the day. This is it. Second tournament, Major League Fishing Pro Circuit Tour. Yesterday, today, the next couple days is going to be like the 70s. So fish should be coming to the bank. Then I'm debating whether I want to stay close or run far. It's like, ah. I'm gonna start close and give it about an hour. If I catch one or two good fish, then maybe I just stick it out here the rest of the day. Like, yeah, all right. So I get on a little wall I wanna fish and I was hoping, I was like, yeah, just let me catch two good ones real quick and then I don't make the run. I never had a bite. I was like, all right. Yank trolling motor, make the run. I got about a 35 to 40 minute run to get to our up in the river where I wanna fish where it's dirty water. So as I'm running up the river in the morning, I noticed that the, the GoPro mount, it just kept going. It was moving it forward and it's like something wasn't working right, but then, well, it was recording. <laughs> Instead of recording video, it was taking thousands of 
photos of the GoPro, just individual shots that took all through the course of the day. But there's some cool stuff coming out of it. And I get up there and things start clicking. Boom, 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 catching fish, throwing a half ounce bladed jig. It's called the Ladies Man. A guy on the West Coast, uh, Wade Curtis makes him Ladies Man. Three inch, the deal on the back. Uh, chartreuse shad, so it's kind of like a spot sticker color, chartreuse white. One of the key baits to catch them, I caught some on a 1.5 DD Lucky Craft, but the bladed jig was kind of like my go-to thing. Most of the fish I'm catching were in five foot of water or less. And that first day, I definitely was, I, I caught more fish fishing around the points of these little pockets going in, just little main river pockets, not big creeks going back, so just these little secondary pockets that only might go back 100 yards. And I caught a mixture of largemouth spotted bass, but I caught 15 keepers, which was like, this is good. But I never caught one over two and a half pounds. Are there just no big ones around where I'm fishing? It's like, how come they're all just like 15 inches, you know, 16 inches, like was a ginormous one. Caught a limit, weighed 10 and a half pounds basically on day one. I was in it. I was definitely in it. I'll be like a bubble boy, I'm sure. I don't know how to catch a two and a half or three pounder, so. One bite at a time, but day one, boom, done. All right, so day two, take off. We're not taking off till 7 a.m., so it's a little late. It'll be light for about an hour, but it's okay. It's pre-spawn, fish bite. Should bite better later in the day. I probably got to catch 11, a little over 11 today to make it to Saturday. I need a couple big bites today. So I'm gonna go fish some new water, pre-fish a little bit, fish some of the same stuff. I know there's a lot of fish around. <sighs> The joys of day two stress. Wow. I had another little pocket close to takeoff that I caught one good one in practice. I'm like, well, let me start here again and see if, you know, that's something, some little magic can happen first thing in the morning. And then whatever I ate the night before was not sitting good. But once we got that taken care of, all right, let's make the run. And hoping that I can continue where I left off on day one. Man, I'm fishing and I'm fishing and I'm running, you know, more points and pockets, you know, kind of what I did the day before, but running new stuff and not, you know, retreading everything. And, and I'm catching short, 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 catch a keeper, but I'm like, ooh, this is a lot harder. What's going on? The bite? I'm not catching them like I did the day before. So I started going into a pocket on the sides going in and all of a sudden I catch one there and then I catch one on the side of another pocket. So what I think happened, those fish started, those fish that were on the points started moving back more. So I had to adjust a little bit on where I was fishing, how, not necessarily how I was fishing, but where I was fishing. I had five keeper bites on day two. I weighed 10 and a half pounds. Fortunately, that was enough to get me into the top 50. <sighs> That's a relief. Top 50, check, payday, check, points, guaranteed, top 50 finish, check. Grinded it out today. I weighed 10.8, it looks like I'm, I'm going to fish. So, but I only caught five keepers today. The good news is I'm fishing tomorrow. So now I got a chance to, you know, if I can go do something kind of stellar, catch a giant stringer, maybe catch 16, 17 pounds, boom, make it to Sunday, that's my goal. Now I gotta figure out how to jack a big old bag today. You know, I got big swim baits tied on. We got no wind today. The fish should suspend. They should be out uh, off the points. So I'm hoping I can go catch them that way. We're gonna go do something different possibly and swing a big stick and maybe get some, oh, some five pound spots. If I'm gonna catch a big bag, that's a way to catch it out here. Conditions were good in the morning. And first, one of the first points I pull up to, I got about a three pounder falls it out. I'm like, ooh, cool. Didn't eat it, but I was like, hey, there's life, you know, throw a big bait, maybe get some big bites. I flailed and I flailed and I flailed and never caught one on it. I'm like, what, well. So I went from thinking, I want to catch a 17 pound stringer. After a few hours into it, I'm like, oh crap, I just need to catch some fish and get some points. <laughs> and, I bailed on that area and went back up into the river where I'd caught in the first two days just to see if I could salvage something up there. Just running new water again and 
Fortunately, I was able to just, I caught five keepers again. That's all I caught, five keepers, but it was, I had to work hard for them, covering a lot of water, making a lot of casts, mostly on the bladed jig again with a little three inch deal. But I was like, all right, I caught five. And then I was like, well, I need to go try and catch a big one still. So I, at the last minute, I'm trying to run some points, nothing, and I'm like, oh, shoot, I'm really close. Pushing it to get back to weigh-in on time. And I had a 40 mile boat ride of just getting just boat wakes, boom, 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 boom. I made it back with 10 seconds to spare without being late, I was. Woo! So I only weighed nine and a half pounds, but I actually moved up four more places, finished 32nd. Not a top 10 finish, but it's, hey, it's a great finish, great points. I worked my butt off this week. I fished the way I wanted to fish. Congratulations, John Cox. You had a, an amazing tournament. You're having an actually amazing few years, by the way. So good job, keep it up. Overall, great tournament. That's a wrap. Hopefully you enjoyed this tournament coverage from Smith Lake in Alabama. So make sure you like, subscribe, Skeet Reese Fishing. Until next time, go crack a big one.